the picture you are looking right now is the picture of Kuala Lumpur City's view, which is taken from Gassim Hills, located in Petaling Jaya. And the next picture you are going to look right now is the view of Chenuang Hills, which is taken from the peak of Batu Kumbang Hills. This place is located in Hululangat. Before I would like to go further with my informative speech presentation, I would like to share some inspirational quote which is written by Einstein. says that, look deep into nature, then you will understand everything better. From my understanding, based on his career, which is physicist, Mother Nature has a creator who create all living things, which has its own mechanism that require each other for their blockchain. So I hope... From understanding nature, we will love our nature as much as we love ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Muhammad Amiruddin bin Muhammad Yusof. I am presenting an informative speech for ELC 590, English for oral presentation. I am from group AP2465A. And today's topic that I would like to talk about is the benefits of hiking. So hiking is just like any other sports that has its own difficulty level. Hiking is a moderate level activity which requires you long distance and time to complete from starting point to starting point. The climax level of this activity is when you arrive at the peak of the mountain or hills just for the beautiful view. Well, there are several categories of hiking and also some places that I would like to share. So the first categories of hiking is day pet trip and the next one is long day trip. The difference between these two trips is the duration of days. Day pet trip only requires you one day to complete while long trip requires you two until three days to complete. Both of these trip will challenge your mind and body just to complete. If you go for a long distance jogging, this is the same as the jogging activity. But in hiking, you will walk with some inclined earth surfaces. And if you guys are interested in joining any trip, then you can start research. Joining a day pack trip will require you to pay some money for the permit to the trip organizer, which you can find by joining a hiking Facebook group, which is hiking and recreation around Malaysia. From there, you will know all hiking spots all around Malaysia. And you might get interested to continue your hiking journey into another country. If you guys are live in area Kuala Lumpur and Selangor, there's a lot of hiking places that you can explore. As an example, you can try to explore Rimba Forest Grinchy Hills, which is located at Kuala Lumpur. There, you can hike with your friends and family just for free. Another than the place in Kuala Lumpur, you can try hiking at Tugu Hills and many more. All around Ampang to Serdam. So without further ado, let's discuss the benefits of hiking. And if you are a person with a healthy mind and body, then you might get interested with my point. One of the benefits of hiking is that hiking can increase your physical and mental health. Well, there are several ways to increase your physical and mental health. Even if you are not interested in any kind of sports, but you still need to increase your physical and mental health. Number one is connect with people, be physically active, and pay attention with the present moments. Our daily life might be busy with our works, but our state of mind and state of body will require us to be replaced with something that is other than works. 
the next thing that you might get interested in fall in love with it is that hiking can make new friends in introduction i just mentioned about day pack trip and long trip yes you can make friends there hiking trip is also a business for the trip organizer therefore a business has its own customer which is not only you or your friends but friends from other places that you will never know their background. In hiking, organizer also has their own crew members, guide, sweeper, and medical, and also their customers, which is called line up. From my experience, some organizers can handle and responsible up to 20 and 40 line up. My best personal experience for 2022 is that I have arrived at this mountain which is called Bunga Buah Mountain. The height is about 1.30 meter height. The trail itself is muddy and when you walk in there it feels like you walk on a roller coaster. Means that sometimes you go for incline, decline, and then incline back again. The journey takes about eight hours back and forth. The time taken to reach to the peak is about four hours. The distance is about 14 kilometers back and forth just to complete this activity. And before I end my speech, I would like to share some inspiring story posted by our Malaysian people and this screenshot is taken from a hiking Facebook group that I just mentioned hiking and recreation around Malaysia well this person goes by the name Ravi Chandran and on 22nd July 2022 he has the reach at the most dangerous and highest mountain in the world which called Everest Mountain. For me, as a hiking enthusiast and also a Malaysian people, I feel so proud of him. So hiking is an activity to all person to build a better healthy lifestyle. So I hope from now you get inspired and you can start by your hiking equipment such as shoes, suitable little bag and also search for a trip. My recommendation, you can start to join a Facebook group, Hiking and Recreation Around Malaysia. Hiking can increase your physical and mental health when you start connecting with people. And you can make new friends if you're joining for a trip or just training for fun. Yes, try to talk with people. Because hiking can make your health getting better if you start doing these sports. So I think that's all from me. I hope you enjoy listening to my speech and I see you in the next video.